subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Now, before we dive into the details, about, the products and services offered in Google Cloud, let's take a brief introduction to some commonly used Google Cloud services. We can categorize the commonly used Google Cloud services into following. First is, Compute and Hosting Service. Then, Storage Service, Database Service, Networking Service, and, Big Data and Machine Learning Service. First, let's take a look into the compute services offered by Google Cloud. There are four main services in the compute category, which are Virtual Machines, Application Integration Service, Container Service, and Serverless Computing. Google Cloud's computing and hosting services enable you to work in a serverless environment and use a managed application platform and leverage container technologies to gain lots of flexibility and build your own cloud-based infrastructure to have the most control and flexibility. Let's now discuss about the Virtual Machine Service by Google. Google Cloud's Unmanaged Compute Service, or Virtual Machine Offering, is called Compute Engine. You can think of Compute Engine as an infrastructure as a service by Google Cloud. The system provides you a robust computing infrastructure, but you must choose and configure the platform components that you want to use. With Compute Engine, it's your responsibility to configure, administer, and monitor the systems. Google will ensure that resources are available, reliable, and ready for you to use, but it's up to you to provision and manage them. The advantage here is that, you have complete control of the systems and unlimited flexibility. With Google Compute Engine, you can do the following. Use virtual machines called instances, to build your application, much like when you use your own hardware infrastructure. You can choose from a variety of instance types, to customize your configuration, to meet your needs and your budget. You can choose which global regions, and zones, to deploy your resources in, giving you the control, over where your data is stored, and used. You can select the operating systems, development stacks, languages, frameworks, services, and other software technologies as per your preference. You can create instances from public or private images. You are given storage technologies by Google Cloud, or you can use any third-party technology. You can use Google Cloud Marketplace, to quickly deploy pre-configured software packages. For example, you can deploy a LAMP or mean stack, with just a few clicks. You can create instance groups for easy management of multiple instances together. You can use auto-scaling with an instance group, to automatically add and remove capacity. You can attach and detach disks as needed. And you can use SSH, to connect directly to your instances. Next is, App Engine. Google Cloud's application integration service, is called App Engine. App Engine is Google Cloud's platform as a service offering. With App Engine, Google handles most of the management of the resources for you. For example, if your application requires more computing resources, because traffic to your website increases, Google automatically scales the system, to provide those resources. If the system software needs a security update, that's also handled for you. When you build your app on App Engine, you can build your app in several languages, and use pre-configured runtimes, or use custom runtimes, to write code in any language. Google manage the app hosting, scaling, monitoring, and infrastructure for you. You can connect with Google Cloud Storage products, such as, Cloud SQL, and Cloud Storage. Containers With container-based computing, you can focus on your application code, instead of, on deployments and integration into hosting environments. Google Kubernetes Engine GKE, is Google Cloud's Containers as a Service offering, and it is built on the open-source Kubernetes system, giving you the flexibility of on-premises, or hybrid clouds, in addition to Google Cloud's public cloud infrastructure. When you build with GKE, you can create and manage groups of Compute Engine instances running Kubernetes, called clusters. GKE uses Compute Engine instances as nodes in a cluster, each node, runs the Docker Runtime, which is a Kubernetes node agent, that monitors the health of the node, and a simple network proxy. You can set the requirements for your Docker containers, by creating a simple JSON configuration file. You can use Container Registry for secure, private storage of Docker images. You can also create an external network load balancer. Serverless Computing Google Cloud Serverless Computing Offering is known as Cloud Functions. It is Google Cloud's functions as a service offering, 
providing a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. With cloud functions, you write simple, single-purpose functions that are attached to events, which are emitted from your cloud infrastructure and services. Your function is triggered when an event being watched is fired. Your code executes in a fully managed environment. There is no need to provision any infrastructure or worry about managing any servers. Cloud functions can be written using JavaScript, Python 3, Go, or Java runtimes on Google Cloud Platform. You can run your function in any standard Node.js, Python 3, Go or Java environment. You don't have to stick with just one type of computing service. For example, you can combine App Engine and Compute Engine to take advantage of the features and benefits of each. Next service category is Google Cloud Storage Services. Whatever your application or requirement is, you'll probably need to store some media files, backups, or other file-like objects. Google Cloud provides a variety of storage services. Commonly used storage services are Cloud Storage, Persistent Disks for Compute Engine, and File Store. You get consistent, scalable, and large capacity data storage with Google Cloud Storage. With Cloud Storage, you can select a standard storage, which provides maximum availability. Or you can choose Cloud Storage Near Line, or Cloud Storage Cold Line, for low-cost archival storage needs. With Cloud Storage Archive, you get the lowest cost archival storage, which is ideal for backup and disaster recovery, or for data, which you intend to access less than once a year. The Persistent Disks on Compute Engine is used as a primary storage for your instances. Compute Engine offers both hard disk-based persistent disks, which are called standard persistent disks, and solid-state persistent disks. You can get fully managed NFS file servers in FileStore. You can use FileStore instances to store data from applications running on Compute Engine instances or GKE clusters. Database Services Google Cloud provides a variety of SQL and NoSQL database services. First is Cloud SQL, which is a SQL database for MySQL or PostgreSQL databases. Next, Cloud Spanner, which is a fully managed relational database service offering transactional consistency at global scale, schemas, SQL querying, and automatic synchronous replication for high availability. And there are two options for NoSQL data storage. Firestore for document-like data, and Cloud Bigtable, for tabular data. You can also choose to set up your preferred database technology on Compute Engine, by using persistent disks. Networking Services The following are the common services under Google's networking services. 1. A Virtual Private Cloud Google Cloud Virtual Private Cloud provides networking functionality to Compute Engine Virtual Machine Instances, Google Kubernetes Engine Containers, and the App Engine Flexible Environment. VPC provides networking for your cloud-based services that is global, scalable, and flexible. You can set firewall rules to govern traffic coming into instances on a network. And Route lets you implement more advanced networking functions in your instances, such as creating virtual private networks. Next is, Load Balancing Service. If your website or application is running on Compute Engine, the time might come when you're ready to distribute the workload across multiple instances. With Network Load Balancing, you can distribute traffic among server instances in the same region, based on incoming IP protocol data, such as address, port, and protocol. Network Load Balancing is a great solution if, for example, you want to meet the demands of increasing traffic to your website. HTTPS load balancing enables you to distribute traffic across regions, so you can ensure that requests are routed to the closest region, or, in the event of a failure, or overcapacity limitations, to a healthy instance in the next closest region. You can also use HTTPS load balancing to distribute traffic based on content type. For example, you might set up your servers to deliver static content, such as images and CSS, from one server, and dynamic content, such as PHP pages from a different server. The load balancer can direct each request to the server that provides each content type. Next is DNS service. You can publish and maintain domain name system records by using the same infrastructure that Google uses. You can use the Google Cloud Console, the command line, or a REST API to work with managed zones and DNS records. If you have an existing network that you want to connect to Google Cloud resources, Google Cloud offers the following options. 
for advanced connectivity. 1. Cloud Interconnect. It enables you to connect your existing network to your VPC network through a highly available, low latency, enterprise grade connection. 2. Cloud VPN. It enables you to connect your existing network to your VPC network through an IP security connection. You can also use VPN to connect two cloud VPN gateways to each other. 3. Direct peering enables you to exchange internet traffic between your business network and Google at one of Google's broad reaching edge network locations. 4. Carrier peering enables you to connect your infrastructure to Google's network edge through highly available, lower latency connections by using service providers. Next, let's take a look at Google Cloud's commonly used big data and machine learning services. First, data analysis. Google Cloud has BigQuery for implementing data analysis tasks. BigQuery is an enterprise data warehouse providing data analysis services. With BigQuery, you can organize your data into datasets and tables. You can load data from a variety of sources, including streaming data, and manage and protect it by using permissions. BigQuery ML enables data scientists and data analysts to build and operationalize ML models on planet scale structured or semi structured data directly inside BigQuery using simple SQL in a fraction of the time. And BigQuery by Engine, with its blazing fast in memory analysis service, allows users to analyze large and complex data sets interactively with sub second query response time and high concurrency. And with connected sheets, Users can analyze billions of rows of live BigQuery data in Google Sheets, without requiring SQL knowledge. For batch and streaming data processing, we have Dataflow. Dataflow is a managed service for executing a wide variety of data processing patterns. Dataflow provides a managed service and set of SDKs that you can use to perform batch and streaming data processing tasks. Dataflow works well for high volume computation especially when the processing tasks can clearly and easily be divided into parallel workloads. Dataflow is also great for ETL tasks, which are useful for moving data between different storage media, transforming data into a more desirable format, or loading data onto a new storage system. Google's AI platform offers a variety of powerful machine learning services. You can choose to use APIs that provide pre-trained models, optimized for specific applications, or Build and train your own, large-scale, sophisticated models, using a managed TensorFlow framework. Google Cloud offers a variety of APIs that enable you to take advantage of Google's ML without creating and training your own models. Video Intelligence API lets you use video analysis technology that provides label detection, explicit content detection, etc. Speech-to-text lets you convert audio to text with 110 recognized languages and variants. You can transcribe the text through a microphone, enable command and control through voice, or transcribe audio files. Cloud Vision lets you easily integrate vision detection features, including image labeling, face and landmark detection, optical character recognition, and tagging of explicit content. Cloud Natural Language API lets you add sediment analysis, entity analysis, entity sentiment analysis, content classification, and syntax analysis. Cloud Translation lets you quickly translate source text into any of over a hundred supported languages. Language detection helps out in cases where the source language is not known. Dialogflow lets you build conversational interfaces for websites, mobile applications, popular messaging platforms, and IoT devices. You can use it to build interfaces such as chatbots that are capable of natural and rich interactions with humans. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.